your boy Faith of Sam, and we're here with another take of tap, 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 tap in. in. Yes, I hope you've been tapping in to tap in. You know what I mean? Tap and you know, as always, I'm chilling with the crew. I got my boy here to my left, and the ladies. What's up, y'all? Hello, hello, everybody. This is your beautiful girl, Evie. Hello, hello, hello. It is Davi, your favorite social media manager. Yes, uh point and point, period. What it do, everybody? It's your favorite host. <laughs> your one and only, your greatest, your most enjoyable. What? I can say everything, you know, and <laughs> I know it's true, you know, so it's your boy Caleb. And no, it's your boy Breezy. <laughs> right, right, right. Dude, you're so tired. You today, forgot. For real, like, hey. today, a chill day for me, you know. So why why does he have the keep sweat voice now? Like, <laughs> change it up. Today is today is actually breezy. It's breezy. It's breezy. It's breezy. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. Yes, sir. Yo, man, how y'all doing? Doing good, good. man. My good. God's grace. Headspace is good. Yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I love the last two videos we dropped. Yeah. Um, we had uh, Miss Jones, you know, with the mental health. Mm -hmm. She was. Amazing. Um, she, she was. was she, she was, was man. And, yeah, um, good. it was. It was. A lot of people reached out, and you know, they they did say, you know, uh, watching the video helped them, you know, through circumstances that they were going through. Mm -hmm. Um, so I appreciate that a lot. Uh, thank you again. Shout out to Miss Jones woo, woo, uh, for coming woo. through. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, and we had Izzy. Uh, Izzy give us, you know, uh, the college experience. That was dope. Um, that, was that, was, that was dope, man. And uh, she dropped a bone, man. I don't know if y'all following that video. Uh, go ahead and like it and comment under that video. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, and we're going to continue to do this, man. Uh, tapping ain't going nowhere, man. We're here to stay. For sure. For sure. We're here to stay. Clock it. We'll be remiss if we don't talk about this, right? Uh, we recently had a holiday uh, that flew by. You know, it's one of those holidays. that <laughs> flew by. Because it's one of those holidays, like, I don't think people care about. It. You know what I mean? Um, it's number 20 on the most celebrated, you know, uh, holidays. Uh, believe it or not, uh, Thanksgiving comes before that holiday. I think Halloween comes before it. You know what I mean? Uh, we just had Father's Day. <laughs> Why you sound so yeah. Father's so Day, man. Um, Father's Day. Tapping just... wanted to give some love to the fathers. Yes. Right? Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. Happy late Father's Day. Happy late Father's Day. Happy late Father's Day. Yeah. That, you yeah. know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uh, but um, tell me, man, like, wh what you guys think about fathers? Man, for me, I feel like fathers, in my opinion, are a very pivotal, pivotal, like, role and a very, like, important and significant thing in a in human being life. Let me yeah. just say that. Like, yeah. In a human being. So, no matter, if, no matter if you're a child or, you know, an adult, somebody needs, like, some father figure. And... Like, it's, it's very necessary, you know, especially for, you know, under, when you get to that understanding where, like, you know, there is certain things that a man can do and there's certain things that a woman can do, but there is some things that both of them can't do yeah. on each part. So it's like a mother, a mother can't really be a father and a yeah, father can't, can't really be a, be a mother. mother. You know, there, of course, there's circumstances where, like, you know, People have to, the to force, and they yeah. have to be that other parent, but yeah, it, it's it's That's never, but it's never what it what it needs what to be, what it needs, to, what it should be, exactly. what, what it should be. We yeah. we hear that all the time, man. Like yeah. especially single mothers, man. Believe it or not, um, shout but, out to them, though. Shout, yeah, out, shout to out to the mothers, man. Happy Father's Day to y'all. Yeah. Only a woman would do something like that. Okay. But I didn't see it, that it, it, anywhere this year. I had to say it. Come on, man. Let's celebrate it. You want to give some of that portion to a woman as well? Wow. <laughs> Come on, uh, man. Right? I feel what you're saying. Yeah. Hey, Valentine. Yeah. Everything, man. Yeah, you want to give that to her too. 
Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, right. Without taking away from fathers, like, yeah, I want to do shout out, you know, the, the mothers, the single mothers. For sure. For sure. You know what I mean? Um, but the, those youngins need a father figure. They need Absolutely. a male figure in their yeah, lives, man. Now more than ever. Yeah, I think statistically, you know, um, right now it's about 85% of households are without fathers. That's too you know big. I mean? That's horrible. That's, that's, that's a big. huge number, man. Uh, 80, 80% uh, of households are without fathers, man. And uh, like you said, a father is extremely important in the home. Yeah. Right. It's extremely important to have, you know, that uh, father figure in the home with the with a child, you know, that's growing up and, you know, and and going into society. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think we downplay the father's roles a lot. Right. I yeah, um, I agree. I mean, it's just like every other, you know, aspect of life. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we take one person and, and we generalize what they do with everybody else. There's deadbeat dads out there. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. like that. Yeah. For sure. Right? But it's not everybody that's a deadbeat dad. Yeah. Some of y'all are and, good dads. Great. What you said? Some of y'all are good dads. <laughs> oh, appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. I really, I really am. I really am. And I, I, I hope one day, you know, my kids can turn around and say, you know, like, my father was, was a good father. Yeah. Shout out to his daughter. And, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? She like, is? she is. She is, man. <laughs> she is. I love my kids. Yes, sir. Yeah. You, so, said, you said something about mm-hmm. how, like, you know, we generalize, you know, like a father figure in a way. Because... When you come up with the sentence, you know, we need a father, you know, at a house and home, I'm like, is the house, that's what you call home? Because I didn't grow up with my father. Okay. But I still had him, though. He was still there. It's just that he was not in the same room with me. So it's like, a, is it a different ways when you didn't grow up with your father or when you grew up with your dad? And No, I mean, <clears throat> the person, the presence is, is what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Um... Because I remember, remember, I was born and raised in Haiti. So uh, my father left when I was about, I probably was like one month or two month old, you know, when she when he came to the U.S., right, to provide for us, of course. And I didn't join him until 13 years later. Hmm. You, you see what I mean? Uh-huh. But he was, I mean, he's still my father. Like, you know, like yeah. he goes and visit and stuff like that. And, and he was present, you know, uh, without being present. Mm-hmm. You know, so I got everything that I needed to get out of him, you know, at that time. Um, and when I came here, my parents got divorced, you know, like probably like two, three years after, you know, and then there was this gap in between. Um, like, but what I found out is that, you know, having a male figure period, and that's what my uncle was for me too. You know, when my dad was here providing for us, I had a great uncle, man, and he poured into me. You know, so having a male figure that pours into you is extremely important, Absolutely. right? Because they teaches you, you know, uh, how to be a man. And like, no offense to to you ladies, but a woman cannot teach a man how to be a man. Of course, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Ain't no offense on that. That's fine. No, no whatsoever. <laughs> okay, thank you. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. We're trying to harden them. They're like, <laughs> no, I'm not trying to teach Bugatti how to be. That's not funny. We literally said, we literally said we agree with Sam, right? No, nah, it, it's it's real, man. Like a woman could, like as a mother, a mother could teach her son how to. Um, be a gentleman. Be a gentleman to, to a woman. Yeah. You, you understand? And how to live independently. But correct. She correct. can't. She can't fully teach him how to be a man. Correct. She doesn't know how to be a man. Correct. But the father true. could do all of that. And then some. And then some. Yeah. Okay. I have to you give that saying? to the fathers. You guys are doing amazing. No, nah, man. Fathers are doing a great job, man, and yeah. and they don't get. You know, enough credit. And I understand they that. Don't. Like, you know, we're not emotional beings. Like, we don't like to pour out our hearts, you know, to people. Yeah. And and yeah. Um, sometimes we feel, you know, unappreciated. Yeah. You know? Right. What if you guys say something? It's hard. Well, when they do, what do we do? Oh, okay. I'd be laughing yeah. a little bit. Oh, crap. Yeah. Let's, I mean, yeah. Sorry. Let's not really go into that, into this episode. Because if we do, we're going to be forever. <laughs> that, that's real talk. Yeah. That's real talk. So, like... What what does y'all fathers 
mean to you guys? You want to go first, Evie? I'm going to go first. Okay, go ahead. I feel like my father is that epis in my life. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's bring it back. Oh, my Lord. Let's try to think for the Americans and uh, the epis. Other worlds. Uh-huh. Um... Yeah. Yeah. This is Haitian seasoning, basically. Yeah, it's like, it's like okay, Dominicans or, like, other Hispanics, you know, like, sofrito. You know, like, the little... Oh, she just went... <laughs> she just went... She just went... She just went... But the reason why I say that seasoning because it's like, yes, I do have my mother, but I feel like with my dad, because when I was in Haiti, I was with my dad. When I was in here, I was not with him, but the teaching, the instruction, I think that's what makes me the woman that I am today. Because the way my dad kind of raised me, even though we were not under the same roof, was he, he taught me how not to depend on men. Not like... <laughs> break, break that down. Break that down for me. <laughs> break, break that down. When I say not to depend on men, in a way, as in like, not thinking that if everything that I need for myself, like you guys, like a man, have to give it to me. I have to find my own happiness. Okay, how to be independent. I have to do, you know, different things that I have to do. Man, like she had to put man into that. I'm trying to tell you, man. That's to say independent. When I tell you, that y'all can't. No, I'm not. Please, like... please don't. Please don't. That's not heavy. We, Go ahead. we come in peace. But yes, and and also the way that he spoiled me, of course, in life. And it was, it was not easy, but he always taught me, like, I think my dad kind of made me that financial woman because I wanna I wanna go into finance. It was because mm-hmm. of my dad. Nice. Cause the way the way that he he raised me, he, he used to be like this, like he gives me money. I remember my dad first started with giving me, you know, allowance and stuff. And then at first I was like, um, I need more. He was like, okay, I'm gonna give you more. And I used to spend it. <laughs> when I spend the money, he was like, I'm not giving you nothing because mm-hmm. I gave it to you yesterday. You should have, you know, you should have, you know, saved that money. So yeah. kind of teach me how to save when he gave me something and I saved the money, and I had money for myself. I could do different things. And when he gave me something else, he always showed me, like, yes, I have to work for everything, but then if I ask him, he will give he will give it to me just so that way I don't have to go look for it else. I mean, elsewhere. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he's that A piece. That's the A piece. That's very good. That's very sweet. Mm. Oh. Um, <laughs> I am definitely my father's daughter. We have... You're the only daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... No competition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. What's happening today? Like, no. You guys are making it hard. You see right there. But like five grams of caffeine against, you know. I'm so sorry. Are you done, Sam? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> and I meant that in, in, you know, the form of the expression. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. Go ahead. And how um we have the same mannerisms. We act the same, like, same term, everything, you know. And um, as you guys were saying this earlier, how, like, a mother can't teach a son, like, a man, how to be a man. I think that in order for a woman to learn how to be a woman, she needs a father in her life. Mm. I think, like... Clip that. My I think... <laughs> <laughs> I that's a clip. That's I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say. But no, yeah, I think, like, in order for a woman to really be well-rounded in her, like, womanness and femininity, she needs... A male figure in her life you know because there's a lot of things that you need to know like obviously going in like being a woman going into the world you need to know how to not find a husband but you need to know how to find a good man and make him you you know what i'm trying to say mm-hmm. right well you could just say it Go ahead. so we don't have to you know okay. be real, be real for the it, you know what i mean okay okay but yeah being a woman going into the world you know you need to be able to navigate that world and find a husband and keep a husband Mm. But also to find the right one, you know, not just find a husband, but you need to find the right husband, you know, who's, who's going to treat you right. And you need a father to know what to look for in a man, you know? I like, I believe that in everybody, you know, whether you have a deadbeat daddy, you know what not to look for, or you have a good daddy, you know what to look for. Wow. <laughs> not being real. Hey, that's real though. True. That's that's real. But um the expression of like a woman always look for somebody that, you know, remind them of their father. Like is that is that true for you guys? Is that that's crazy. <laughs> No, I say I say no only because me and my father are very alike and I could not be with myself. 
Oh. I would I would have to fight you every day. Okay. You know? Okay. So I need someone who is the opposite. Not a <laughs> I, I, I feel like sometimes women are looking what they you know what they didn't get from their father in a way mm-hmm. it's what they didn't, you know what they missing and they feel like they can get it from a man but I, I don't I'll say no because why would I treat a man that I want like my dad doesn't make sense it's like I'm looking for a dad he's already his own person I'm looking for my man it's, it's a different yeah. person than my dad yeah I couldn't choose my dad but I can choose my, I guess, my husband I guess more so the question is more so like I don't think it's more so would you date your dad? That, that is not the question I whatsoever. Think, I, I think okay. the question is okay, more so like... you guys, this is a really fine line. Please, I, I want to be a psychiatrist. I want to be a psychiatrist. Don't get me started about Sigmund Freud, please. Oh, uh, no, no, not the Sigmund Freud. No, because like, that's no. where it sounds like it's going. No, I'm, not, it. I'm not there whatsoever. <laughs> no, I'm not there whatsoever. But I know some like women mm-hmm. who uh, admire their dad so much that they pray for a, a husband, husband like you know, that reflects the characteristics yeah. of their fathers. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? So that that's the line that we asked the question. It was not, you know. Yeah, like more so like the way that your father treated you. Yeah. Like showed like, you cared or the way that he pri- prioritized you in a way or the mm-hmm. way he he was a provider in a way. I, that, I was going to say that. that good those, job. those type of, you know, that's yeah, the question. That, like that, you know what I mean? But then, don't, don't that already describe a man if you cannot provide and prioritize your family? So what are you? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I, this is <laughs> why the... I ain't gonna lie. What's going on today? This is a Father's Day. Look, <laughs> sit up. You know, yeah. Sit up. Yeah. yeah. It's a Father's Day take. It's about... It's about this war. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I thought it was about giving giving the, the flowers to the men. No, we are. Yeah. I said that they're in, that they're vital. We are giving her right. our flowers. All right. So, okay. Stab on the plate. Time out. That's a foul. Sorry, yeah. Because right now we're moving away from the topic and discussing like the role of a, the roles of a man. That's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. We did answer the question. I said no. We're basically this, this is like our father's man or husband. Y'all know that, right? Well, y'all know that? Do y'all know that? Let's go move on to me. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, my father <laughs> has been a great father. Um, he showed me how to really be... Um, just uh, a male, you know, like a man in this world, you know, whether it's just not just how to be one in the household, but to be one out in the world, you know, how to conduct myself, you know, accordingly, you know, how to be aware, you know, be very attentive, you know, and just how to walk in, walk, walk in my manhood, you know, and not only in my manhood, but walk as a Christian, as a man, you feel me? So yeah, so like my dad's my dad taught me a lot of them things and a lot of and a lot of more so main thing of like if y'all know my dad, like that man is a that man is goofy, bro. That man is a that man is goofy, bro. The funniest people I know. Yes. That man is all over the place. So I guess he taught me like a lot of my like behavior kinda came I, I believe it came from him. Mm-hmm. You know, where like there's a lot of things in life where I believe, you know, I admire that he acts goofy because I believe, you know, life should not be what people call it. You know, my dad always tells me, you know, life is hard, but his behavior never showed that it was. So it was like, OK, it, it tells me to be aware that what life is going on, but don't let it affect you to the point where you start to act different towards yeah, other people. It changes, your whole it changes your mood. You start to act different even in, the own, in your own house. Yeah, no. You know how you treat your... Your, your, your wife. spouse, your, yeah. you feel me, or your wife. So like it, it, it taught me a lot. So yeah, he always he always tells me to the point where it's like it's annoying at some point. But he always tells me life is hard, life is difficult. But his behavior was Never enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy. Still still laugh. You know, still try to make a joke out of something, you know. Try to make this day worth it. You know, so that, that my dad you know, shout out to my dog. You feel me? He's, He's cool. great. He's he great. cool. That's pretty dope, man. Yeah. And and I think that's a trait that every man have, and we shouldn't embrace it, right? Because we keep our emotions, um, to ourselves. Yeah. Facts. Right. And at times they eat us. You yeah. know. And um, 
I'm I'm thinking about the suicidal rate for <clears throat> you know men versus women. The men suicidal rate is extremely high. Right? Because we don't we don't really share our emotions like that. Yeah. Right? And when problems come, like we try to solve them instead of talking about them. Right? That's why a man is always doing, a woman is always planning. Y'all don't notice that? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because to us is, oh, let's go on vacation. Then I'm going to start, you know what I mean? Like putting things together. Yeah. You know, where are you? Uh, let's plan this. Let's like, yeah, it's good to plan, but a man is about doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think because of that mentality, we suffer a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, as for me, like in my father, um, the thing that my dad, you know, taught me was uh, to stand up for what you believe in. Uh, this man is when he <laughs> if my dad says he's fighting for you, he's fighting for you. And I love that about him, man. And um, he's respected amongst his peers because of, you know, who he is. Like he stayed true to who he is. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, they change because they want more friends. Uh, they change because they want people around them. Uh, they change because of you know the environment. But my dad stayed true to who he is, and people love him because of who he is. Who he is yeah. So that's one thing that he taught me. You know what I mean? To be who you are, no matter where you are, and no matter you know what room you walk in, to be who you are. Uh, he was a strong. I'm um, not still is man. He's a strong man. And I appreciate that about him. And I appreciate everything he poured into me, even though I didn't understand it when he was doing that. So, like, having a father figure in the home is extremely important. Like, one example I'll tell you, my dad used to pull me every time he's working on his cars. He used to pull me. He's like, you know, if I'm watching TV, he's like, hey, come outside. You know what I mean? (laughs) I used to hate it. (laughs) I hate it with passion, man. I the right to. I, because at that time, because he was not vocal, you know, uh, or know how to express himself. Yeah. Like, to him is, you know, like, I'm going to tell you to do this. You just do it. Don't question me type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, as I get older, I'm like, man, this man was, you know, teaching me how to be a man. He was teaching me how to change a tire. He was teaching me how to, you know, uh, uh, ch- um, uh, do an oil change in my car. You know what I mean? I wish I paid more attention. Because <laughs> now you got to pay now you got to pay for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish I did. And as I got older, I'm like, yo, man, my dad was, he was being a father. He was being a male, you know, teaching his son how to do certain things, how to rely on on, on certain, you know, like my, like to be strong for himself before he can be strong for somebody else. Mm-hmm. And I didn't miss it. I got it later on, but I wish at that time I live in that moment. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I, I miss that time where I didn't live in the moment. Um, but he's a great father, man. Shout out to my dad, man. Like love, sure. man. And our relationship changed. So I don't know if it's the same for y'all. Like uh, my relationship now with my father is like not in there, not in day. You, you you know what I mean? Like I got closer to him as I got older. Mm-hmm. You know, and I understand him once I have kids. You know, I understand my father a little bit better. Yeah. You know, I know in a home, some some people, depending on, you know, how your dad is, like, it could be like, dang, dog, like, dude, leave me alone, cuz. <laughs> like, <laughs> enough, right? <laughs> enough, right? But having them in a the home is so important, man, because... Absolutely. Because yeah. of the emotional and psychological, you know, aspect of what mm-hmm. they give to us. Yeah. You know, they like when when you're crying and your dad says, you know, hey, take it like a man, man, be quiet. Like at times it could sound like it's wrong, yeah. right? <laughs> it could sound like it's wrong, and, and it now, is. nowadays with this soft generation, it's definitely no, wrong. With the soft, okay, it, 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 it's definitely wrong. It is wrong. The generation is soft, but we yeah. grew up on yo, like like suck it up. You know what I mean? Like, like being you were just saying you don't know how to express your emotions, and that's why. Right, that's man. Why. But the thing is, I think it's more so like, what I don't believe. I don't believe, in my opinion, I don't believe always telling. Well, not always, but mm-hmm. telling your child sometimes that yo suck it up. I don't think that's a bad thing, in my opinion. And to some extent, at times, because at it's time. like, yeah, to, yeah, to some, some extent. extent, because yeah. it's like, bro, like there is some problems 
Where you just need to suck Why it. are you taking it this long to get over it? One. Exactly, and bro. two, it's not that big of a deal. It's game. not that serious. Like, you spilled the milk, okay? Clean it up. That's, that's not it. Like, just like that on, bro. Yeah. You yes. cut off the bite. You scraped in the Get head. up. Get up. <laughs> and it might like, happen like five seconds later. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, it'll be like, so my life. son, man, my son was um doing the wrong thing. And he got hurt. Doing the wrong thing. Yeah, he was doing the wrong thing. He shouldn't. <laughs> he shouldn't been doing that. So he got hurt, and you know, uh, grandma was over. Uh, so you know, I heard the yelling, and screaming, ah! Ah! and I already know it. The boy got hurt, right? And I got here, you know, and of course he's going hysterical, you know, and grandma's supporting it too, you know, because grandma's here, you know, grandma's going crazy. So he look at grandma and start, you know, yelling even even louder. Right, because the emotion, grandma screaming, you know crying, I mean? and yeah. So, um, took him inside. You know, I, I spent a second. You know, I'm trying to analyze what the heck happened. Mm-hmm. Right, he hurt his his foot. So, you know, I looked at it, and and you know, they touching they <laughs> going crazy. Don't touch me, be <laughs> going crazy. And at a at a point, like you know, he dangling his his foot like his is broken. Oh and I'm thinking, man, let me rush this man to the ER because his foot is broken. It was not broken. <laughs> it was not broken. Sprain. He he's the one that was doing this. <laughs> it was not because it was broken. And I'm like, bro, be quiet, cause like at this point, like I know it hurt. But, I, I know it hurt, but it's it's not that bad. A little bit. It's not that bad, bro. So took this man to to the emergency room. He came he came home. The next day, he was walking straight. Like, he was good. He was fine. He was good. You know? Walking fine today? He was, he was good. You know what I'm saying? You know? But it, it's those type of things. You know? Grandma was here. Then grandma would have, you know, buttered and, you know, like, make sure, give him candy and make make sure, you know, he has ice cream. Um, because he's... He's, he's injured. He's, he's hurt. Injured. He's hurt. He's right? Hurt. It's like children. He's just like, a little baby. It's children are like feeders, you know? Like what surrounds them is what That's they will what it, feed off. Exactly. So it's like yeah. if I get hurt and all I'm seeing is people pitying me. So no, I have that attention. Have you guys I'm seen that? To... Where like little babies, if they fall or whatever, you're supposed to act like you didn't see it. Because if, yeah. if they see you being like, oh my God, they're going to cry. So you just vibe, they going to vibe. What's a, what's a mother's reaction? She go, Well, it depends. Oh man, it's going to be running. Oh my baby. No, it de- it depends. Okay, I, I feel like I, I like, feel like my no, my mom with me, she did that. With me, she that coddled me because I was one. I'm the first girl. Yeah, we like know. her. For, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like stop with your business. Yeah. Hey guys, I don't know what's going on today. But I'm really, I don't know what's going on today. But I'm telling you guys, y'all need to don't come for me. But you're not the first girl. You you're the only girl. I'm talking about in my like family, like yes, ma'am, yes, grandchild. Ma'am. Go ahead, as you were, as you were saying. Yes, like I was saying, mm-hmm. you know. So whatever. So they all called with me. Like once they got to Geo, if he fell, ah, he'll be fine, you know. So I think it really just depends, especially like on the level of experience of a parent. Because my dad mm-hmm. called with me the same, you know. There, there was a video I seen once. It was like this child, like it was it was a it was a parent carrying I guess a, a child. And then he basically like just got his hand the, the the dad I guess or mom whatever he he hit the wall with his hand and then everybody was around him was like but the baby that hit the head like hit the oh, head the, everybody was around like hoo, 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 and the baby and looked confused <laughs> then he started crying exactly. and I'm just like exactly because as the baby imagine how overwhelming that is you chill it and then everybody's like oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna cry too because what happened but you didn't get hurt. You get I'm hurt. still crying because, because I'm get hurt. So like it maybe me, I did get hurt. It tells me not even just like children, but like a lot of people. Like even depending on the age, like maybe like it gets, it's harder. But a lot of people just feed off of just their environment. Yeah, you know. I so. mean, I was I was gonna say I feel like we do need both love those you know the tough love from our fathers and then that tough love for our yeah. mothers but also I was gonna ask do fathers know if they are a good father or a bad father do they, do they know that I, can I, I answer this before you do no go ahead so do yeah you, he a father so no, I wanna answer this before you I'm yeah. not a father I wanna be a father though but um and you will be I know will be in the name Amen. in the name Hallelujah. in the name one of those coming <laughs> he hasn't hit one of those in a minute. Hey, I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. 
<laughs> All right, but yeah. So on that question, I believe this is this is just from what I experienced. It's just my perspective. I believe when it comes to like you know being a father, you know, a mother, relationships, you know, all these type of stuff. I feel like a lot of these things are subjective. There's not there's not really an one ob- definition. Yeah, oh, there's not really like an objective, you know, uh-huh. task. You know, like it's not like to be a good father, do this. And this and this and, and this. this and this and that. It's not it like depends. a list. Yeah. It's more so like because even the Bible tells you, you know, it's like it's just to train the child in the way that they should go. And that tells me that there um there is a way where like there's a certain requirement or a certain attention or a certain behavior that you have to show your child, mm-hmm. you know, son or daughter, whatever like that, mm-hmm. that that will help them train in a way that they should go because not everybody's training is the same. Mm-hmm. Sure. The way I can do to get better in my jump shot is not the same probably training that somebody else got to do, you know, to get better in their jump shot. So it's like when it comes to being a better father, you know, I don't, I don't believe, in my opinion... A father really knows if they're really being a good father, like or like, or if they're yeah. really being the father that they need to be. In a way, I believe there is a way where, like, I mean, I am doing the things like I need to be doing. Where I have to be attentive to my child, you know, I'm, I'm providing, you know, I'm looking after. Like, I believe like there's those common things, but mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think there will ever be a, cer- a certain satisfaction of. Uh, I'm a good, I'm good doing, father. Yeah, I'm a good, good father. You're not God. I don't think You're so. Not. You're not God. I don't think so. So, like, mine is, um, so Proverbs 20, verse 7. It says, the the righteous, uh, uh, a father who walk in righteousness, right, uh, and integrity, uh, bless are his children after him, mm-hmm. right? Um, so it's all about being an example, you know, by what you do yeah. more than what you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you understand? Because I could beat my kids all day. Right, like I could do that, right? But how much? <laughs> we don't condone that. We don't <laughs> condone what? Oh, I don't. I don't spend a lot. Right? We do not condone beating your children. All no, the not 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 that. We don't. When condone they need it. But I don't spend a lot. That like discipline is discipline, and and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that in a minute. You know, um, so you have to be that example that your kids are are uh, looking up to. Facts. Yeah, right? Exactly. And I, I think integrity, you know, you keeping your integrity, like when you are, you are when your uh, daughter and your sons, you know, are, are watching your everyday life and they see how you walk, they see how you act with others, they see, you know, your heart posture with God, mm-hmm. you know, I think that instills like, a lot in them without you even saying it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you know what right I mean? By example. <laughs> it is. So with that, let's segue to this though. Um, what do you think a father contributes in a home? Or how does a father contribute in a home? To you guys in your eyes. Oh, this just for them too? No, no, no. Oh, for me, I think is decision making. I think I think it's decision making. And um, I guess this is just for my, you know, experience. Yeah. I guess <laughs> I believe a uh, father, you know, cuts down the timing to a lot of things. You know, so whether it's like um, how, um, when should a child, you know, or when should you know a, a child learn to drive? When should a child learn to you know, work the stove real quick, you know, how, like when a child should mm-hmm. learn how to change a tire or when should a child, you know, learn how to do certain things, maybe yeah. walk or whatever like that. I feel like a father really cuts down that time because I, I think of the, I think of the father more so as the, there's a task, get it done. Yeah. More so than it's, I think this needs to be done or, this should be done, Let but I don't know when. Like, baby, if yeah. you please do this. <laughs> I, I think it's just more so like, like, oh, like get it done. Like a simple example. Oh, the the light, the light in the bathroom not working. The day of, go, go get, buy a light. Go get that light. light, light and and fix the light working. Fix it. So I, I feel like, I feel like that father plays a pivotal role on just decision making, mm-hmm. and um and uh time time management. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, like to me is the discipline. For sure. yeah. You know what I mean? And, and uh, 
like in a home where, you know, you have both parents, the fathers, you know, tend to be the uh, the the ones disciplinary. the disciplinary, you know. Yeah. Well, um, some, some, yeah. not all. Right? Like Asian parents, a lot of kids, a lot of Asian kids care to their mother. The mo- <laughs> <laughs> mom before, hey, like, real quick though. I ain't gonna lie, my dad used to whip me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it. I don't want no part of that. I don't want no part of that, bro. That's uh, what hurts, bro. It's different. Man, it's good. I used to hate my father's whoopings, bro. But I thank God for them because, man, I was I was bad. That's all. I was bad. Now that I reflect, I deserve them. I deserve them. <laughs> at that time, at that time, it wasn't fair. It was not. It was, it was not, it was like, not at that time. But now, like I sit warranted. back, yo. Sometimes one day, man, like I slip because my okay. So my sister. <laughs> Okay, we, we man, story TV. time, story time. Story time. All right, so my dad didn't like us in his room if he's not in the room. Mm-hmm. But we used to love watching TV in the room. Mm-hmm. So he'll go out, to, you know, uh, to work, and we'll stay in the room and watch TV. He didn't want that, but we were doing it anyway. You know what I mean? Um, break the door. You know oh. what I mean? Yeah, we break in, though. We break, break wow. in. Oh. Breaking the door is wild. Yeah, That's so, a little crazy. That was the so, door, so. so this is this is it. So I watching TV. So we there watching TV and stuff, and we heard the car. Because, you know, my dad had this car where, you know, if he's like about to start something. He, <laughs> 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 he didn't want to start. We A lot of people in the vehicle. We heard that. We just didn't want to We like, oh, my God. You know. He was trying to get to work. We run it. Then my sister's grab, grabbing a mop. I'm like, of all things, Why? right? She grabbed the mop and started mopping the floor, but I didn't notice it, right? So I'm running and stuff. I slip. My whole body went through the wall. Yo! I made an imprint on my body. <laughs> on the wall, bro. Not, how do you explain that? I did, you know what was the worst thing about this experience? After my dad walked in, I'm sitting there like, I'm, I'm, I'm pooping on myself. You know what I mean? Because I know I'm about to get it. So my dad walked in. He looked at the wall, right? And he walked to his room without saying nothing. Bro, I thought I was dead. <laughs> I was dead. But I, I think that, yeah, because that, that's some energy you wasting. You know what I mean? I think that, you know, go grab my belt. You know what I mean? I take all that. But the man stayed silent. He walked to his room. And I went, I'm like, dear Lord. Prepare me for this one. <laughs> How you gonna tell me I didn't deserve that whooping dog? No, you did. Go into this man. No, you did. No, you did. No, you did. No, you did. So examples like that, y'all man. Like it's it's good. Like fathers are disciplinarian. Yeah. You know what I mean uh, in the home, and fathers are supported supporters as well. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. in the home, uh, not not that mothers are not supporters, sure. but the support of a father, like you it's, know, if it's you, different. yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. it's different. Like if a father don't make a game, then you know, like a kid most likely will be like, oh, you will never have my games. You, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mom could be there all day, but I mean, you'll never never have my games. That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. and then you know, uh, financial advice. Like a father financially supports you know their kids yeah. in ways you know that nobody can. Um, nah, I don't care what y'all say. I said it. I said no, it. No, I completely. You know what I mean? And and what? Why is <laughs> you, no, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just saying though. What? You know, you know one thing I don't get though. Celebrity, you know, you know people that makes it, you know, in the world like celebrities. Mm-hmm. Um, when they go up to praise people, even though they were raised with fathers in the home, mm-hmm. I'm not not knocking y'all. I'm not not knocking mothers. You know what I mean? Like, I have a wife, and and she's been great to the kids. Like without her, this would not work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think I would feel well if my kids, you know, make it somewhere, and then they're like, oh, my mom, da da da, and then you find out that dad was in the house the whole time. You, you know what I mean? I think fathers don't get the respect and honor. That they deserve, yeah, yeah, you know, and it's not right. It's not right. Give the praise to your mother. That's fine, right? But your father played a pivotal role mm-hmm. in who that's you true. you you became. I mean, yeah. I mean, like 
So it's like it's like two parts I can go to. That is one I agree with that. Cause you know how many songs I'm like Mama said Mama turn on me. Go to bed at night. <laughs> like that's a lot. Dear yeah, Mama. Dear <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Like, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like you know representation you know for the mothers. There's a lot of shout outs to the mothers. To the mothers, but not not it's a not lot from fathers. fathers. And another on the other side though. This, to some extent, you know, the fathers are to blame for that. Because I believe, you know, to talk about Father's Day, it's not only for the child to recognize or for people to recognize the importance of a father, but for the father themselves to recognize the importance of themselves, you know? So it's like, there's a lot of times, well, in those certain times where, like, you hear, like, those rappers or whatever like that, you know, talk about, like, mama this, mama that. Mm-hmm. Usually it's because... They didn't, they have, didn't a have a father. That's a so lot they, of them. And it's, yeah. yeah, that's a lot. Or if they did, or if they did, the father wasn't. It was an absence. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah As, they were there, but they they weren't. Yeah, so yeah, like, after what especially, like, what especially like in the black home. Oh my god, bro! Like the it's the crazy. amount of families. I, I'm I I remember checking the stats, but just off of just looking around and off of just, I think it's about seventy six percent, bro. Seventy six percent in a black home in a black family, there are so many like absentee fathers yeah. or just deadbeat fathers. Yeah. And it's like and I, I don't I don't I don't bring this up to like, you know, downplay, you know, on the fathers, you know, tell them to get it together, but more so for them to realize that there is there is an importance and there is a need for you. Yeah. So it's like there there is there's like a you're a required. There's a void that you need to fill. Yes, you need to fill. And, and that only you can only fill. Can fill it. There's yeah. a cause I'm, I think there was a. I think I've seen this some time ago. It was like this research about like um, about you know families. You know there was like children with a two parent household are more successful are more correct more likely more to likely succeed, succeed in life than a single, than parent, a household. single parent, parent household. household. Yeah. And, and most like the re- single parent was the mothers alone. Mother. And reverse it, uh, children who are in a single parent household where the father is the single parent. Are more likely to succeed than a a, a single parent yeah, household with a woman. Yeah, yeah. So it's like yeah, you know, it's so, so the male, you know, a uh, uh, presence. Yeah, it's, it's extremely it's important. important. Yes, bro. Father's Day, man. It's very important to to recognize and to and to appreciate the fathers out there. But it's also important for the fathers to take that day to maybe reflect and understand. Yo, I'm a need. Yeah. I, I'm a demand for my child. Yeah. You know, so in order for my child to be where I want us to be. Not even, even, I feel like sometimes when it comes to being a father, it's also a self-reflection too. You know, I believe if being a father also helps you, you know, yourself as well. Yeah, of course. Because you will start to see that your children are a reflection of you. you. So if you kind of see in a way where your child is being led astray, you know, where your child is going out and like doing. not doing what it needs, not doing what he, she needs to be doing, then that tells you where you need to be work, where you need to be working yeah, on, where, you're where you need to fix out what exactly where you're lacking. Mm-hmm. So like Father's Day, yes, appreciate the father, but fathers, you have to appreciate y'all need them. to also appreciate yourselves, yeah, yeah. and, and, and to <laughs> understand who you are. Man. Well, one yeah. thing I was gonna say though, because it's like when you guys were talking, I was thinking. There's a lot of um, fathers that did not have a dad, you know? Yeah. And how do we, like, how do they break that curse of I did not have a dad and because of that, how do I become a greater person? Or they didn't have a figure, um, you know, like a male figure in their life. How do they break the curse of, okay, I know I didn't have this. I was lacking this. I have to do better. Because a lot of people is like, well, I did this because I didn't have a dad in my life. Or I'm drinking because I didn't have a dad to tell me to stop. Or I'm... I'm, you know, smoking because I didn't have a dad. Oh, I see my dad smoking every day. I see my dad hitting my mom. So because of that, I'm doing this. So how do, like, fathers can break that curse so that way they can be better for their children? Because it's just, like, it's a cycle. I didn't have a dad, so I don't think I need to be part of your life. Um, And I don't think... One thing I could say is just by you being aware of that statistic Mm -hmm. is enough for you to try to make a change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh... A man that was raised without a father, it's hard for him to know how to father, of course. right? But they still have the experience. Mm-hmm. So if you have the experience, then be present, yeah. you know, in the experience. Um, because you can change that. 
Because if you recognize something, you can't change it, mm -hmm. right? Your father's uh, downfall does not have to be repeated by you, exactly. right? You could learn from that, right? You might not know your father, but you know a male figure, mm -hmm. right? There's an uncle. There is, you know, a, a, a next door neighbor, an older cousin, you know, an older something. cousin. There, there's always someone that's going to pour into you, yeah. right? And I, I think it's not an excuse uh, it's not an excuse, but even though I understand it, but we could do better. Just because you didn't have a dad, when other people are pouring into you, mm -hmm. don't reject, you know, what they are, exactly yeah, what they're pouring into you. Because your excuse is, I didn't have a father, but you had an uncle. You know, I didn't have a father, but you had a cousin. I didn't you have a father, you know, you had an older brother. Yeah. There was somebody that was pouring into you. Mm -hmm. So take advantage of those people. And ask as much questions as possible, so you could be a better man, you know, for yeah. your children, yeah. you know. Because I think that's what it, what 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 it's all about. When you're talking about gener generational curse, yeah, like, like my father could be the same as my grandfather, mm -hmm. and I could be the same as my father. But if I understand and recognize that there was somewhere somehow something went wrong between the lineage yeah then it's up to me to exactly. make you know the difference and change it and i think and i think with that like being like knowing like being able to make the distinction like i grew up without a father i grew up without being this. aware you're more conscious of what you yeah. missed out on so you know exactly what to pour into your child so therefore you don't want your child to end up like so you so you. the That's way they the don't end up you. like you exactly. is for you to be exactly. present like you just need to i obviously can't i'm a girl I can't really speak for no fathers, but I'm sure like when you have a child, when you bring a child into life and you see them, you're going to want to, you're going to want to nurture them, you know, mm -hmm. in a fatherly way. And you're going to want to be able to be there and to uplift them, especially if you have a son, you know? So I think it's just, it's just a thing that happens. For, like, for it'll me, kick in. I got two answers. One more so just because you didn't have it doesn't mean like, I believe there's knowledge on both sides. Mm -hmm. There's knowledge on when you gain something and when you don't gain. So it's more so like a, a, a you know a, a male who didn't have a, a good father figure or, or uh, who didn't have an uncle, cousin, or father, whatever like that. You know though, if you're aware, of course, if you're aware and conscious of what you're needing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you of course you probably don't know how to be a father, but you know what not to do. Yeah. yeah. You know what not to do. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I had an absentee father and I didn't like it. Well, now you know, you didn't, you don't you know how to be, be present. present. You better be present. You know how it feels to be absent, so you don't yeah. want to be absent. Like, you know what not to do. That's, yeah. that's answer number one for me. And because you know what not to do, you now you know what to do. In a way, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and two, me like, hey man, I, I'm a Christian, you know, I'm, I'm big on God. Yeah, man. You know, big about my G.O.D. You feel me? So, so like, I believe when the Bible speaks about, you know, who God is, it's like, there will never be a lacking. So even if, if you, even if you ain't have a father figure, man. He's a good father. You will never lack on like, on knowing how to be a good dad or, and it, that goes for anything. But in the, in the topic of fathers, like you would never not know how to be a good father or a good husband or a good man. Because the God you serve, the yeah. Lord is able to do a lot of things that yeah. we can imagine, yeah. you know, so don't get distracted about your, your circumstances, because once you do, you let the circumstances be bigger than God. Yeah. But if I believe and I know the God that I serve and I read about him, then my circumstances or what I experience is just a mere fraction. It's not even a mere fraction of who I serve. So it's like. Hey man, my dad wasn't there for for my whole life. I still had God. Amen. You know, if anything, I still have God. Yeah. Not even had. I still have him, yeah. and I'm not gonna lose him. So when you have him, he's able to fill the fill the gaps. If anything, and not only just fill the gaps, but make a way for you to also fill the gaps. You know, you know, we serve a way maker. You know, we yeah. serve a miracle worker. So if we're gonna talk about miracles then why are we thinking about not having a father and learning to be one, though? It's still a miracle. Yeah, for sure. And if he is that guy, so believe it, man. Yeah, you for sure. Good. For sure. So yeah. <clears throat> I would end it on this, right? Like, um, my advice to fathers out there is to balance work 
and life, uh, to be present in your kid's life. Uh, it's extremely important. Uh, even when you think you're not needed, um, even when you think you feel you are underappreciated, uh, your kids need you, right, more than they, they think. And uh, when they grow up, they'll realize it. And they'll acknowledge you, you know, at that point. Um, fatherhood has been uh, one of the best things in my life. I wouldn't trade it, you know, for anything. Um, and, you know, like those kids, when you walk in, uh, I have a daughter, you know, that likes to run and, and, and hug me. It means a lot. Uh, for some reason lately, like if I'm sad, like she notice it, you know, even though I try to hide it, you know, so those, those things goes a long way. And I want to pour into them as much, you know, as I've been poured into, you know, and um, the goal is to make them uh, functional uh, 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 human beings for the for society. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fu I say functional, functional. <laughs> you know, functional because the world is chaotic. You know, we can't control everything around, you know, in our surroundings, yeah. but we could control, you know, our emotions. We could control how we react to certain things. Those things we can control. So I want my kids to learn as much from, from myself and, and their mother. And, and, and so that, you know, they can be better people for society, you know. Uh, so we will raise them, you know, as they, they have to be. And, and we pray to God that they keep it. Yeah. Right? And they'll so be better for it. Uh, so this was an episode dedicated uh, to the fathers. So, happy so, Father's Day, our boys. Right. Yeah. 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 So you. to every father we out there, the you're doing a great job. Right? You're not alone. Um, don't keep your emotion in, emotions, you know, uh, 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 inside. inside. Right? Uh, reach out to somebody. If you're overwhelmed, uh, please reach out to someone, a yeah. professional, a friend. It's okay, you know, for you to speak about what you feel. Mm -hmm. So that way you can have more to pour into the people that depends on you. Yeah. Um, we are providers, so don't stop doing that. Uh, for those of you on child support, you know, <laughs> no, nah, I'm serious, man. <laughs> That's real talk. For those of you on child support, oh, children. but still be present in your kid's life, shout out to you, you man. Good man. Man, shout out to you. Keep doing that. Even when, you know, you you feel underappreciated, know that that child is going to be better because you are okay. present in their lives. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, check us out. Go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, and comment. comment below, right? She got you. Press that right. notification yeah. so you're notified when we post. That's yeah. right. That's right. On Instagram too, don't play. Yeah, so uh, follow us on Instagram and face and Facebook. Uh, yeah. Tap in the Apple Podcast. Yeah. You know how it is. Special shout out to two of our hosts, uh, JD. Uh, our humble host JD uh, we miss you man and um, we do, we do. Uh, definitely praying for you um, we miss you know your insight on the podcast for sure uh, Big M is not here not the little one remember she donated you know her name you know she did. oh yeah boy y'all gonna let oh, that one man yes. stay tuned for that yeah, one yeah she donated her name for about an hour you know but she got it back <laughs> 45 minutes she got it back Big M, we can't wait to see you back. Okay. All right. Uh, so big love from the Tap In family. Um, and, you know, just pray for us as we pray for you. So until next time, tap, 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 tap in. in. Let's ride.